What is up everyone? Welcome to another edition of Three New Brews. So these three brews are meant to be a starting point for you all. So I'm going to put all of the decks in the description below and you pick whichever one you like the best and then you can add or take away whatever you want to. In this one, we're going to be looking at the new Cell Leader. And what this does, if you don't already know, on the front, it is a normal 15k draw leader, uh, awakens at 4, and then on the back, a 20k draw leader that says activate main once per turn. If you have 5 energy, add up to 1 card with cost 3 or more from your drop to your energy. And this comes in active mode, by the way. So the best way to take advantage of the back, as you'll see, is um, to get above 5 energy and then go back to 5 energy so that you can keep using the uh, the back ability. And you can do this in a few ways. The most common one being using the cell 8 drop, which when you play it on curve, it'll put you back down to 5 energy, which you can then use the awakened ability to get to 6. Moving into our first deck today, uh, we just have a full-on ramp deck. I went into Cell thinking that there were a few different ways you can play it, uh, one being just a full-on ramp deck, which is what you see here. We'll go through the cards one by one. We got um, Goku and Gohan, which are staples right now in the current ramp decks. Goku draws cards, and then Gohan finds your, your other ramp cards, like Destructive Strength, Vegeta, Goku, and can also get Meteor as well. Cell Jr. is an interesting one. We will talk about him in a little bit. The other cards are very normal ramp cards that you've already seen in set one. Uh, we just have Vegeta, Goku. Goku would just access two additional Vegetas in case we don't draw Vegeta. Five drop Gohan to get rid of just pesky four drops that the opponent's playing. Five drop Goku. Okay, so the way Goku works is it will add back an energy for every instance that you take energy and put them in your drop. So... The way it works with Cell is Cell puts three energy into your drop. This five drop Goku will only add one back. So this card is really only in the deck um, to ramp on five. Then we have Turles, which is also a ramp. So Turles is a little bit better than Goku in this deck because a 30k critical is going to be, I think, very important. It also adds the energy untapped, whereas the Goku puts it in tapped. So for our big threats, we're going to start off with Gohan, which six drop just adds a life. We have one Sun Gohan Childhood, seven drop. So this card can just help you stabilize if you're being overrun by massive threats, which I feel like is going to happen a lot in this set, especially by red and yellow. The biggest issue I can see is against yellow. If they have a three drop Vegeta out and all their cards are tapped, this card just does nothing. You can't do anything against that. I'm playing one eight drop Broly, which you already know this card, but we're only playing one since our other bomb is going to be Cell. And I don't want too many cards with zero combo power. And I think Cell just works way better in this type of deck. But what Cell does, if you don't know, is on play, place three cards from your energy in your drop and then choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards and KO them. Then add the top card of your deck to your life. This card just seems insane if you can do this more than one time a game, you've usually locked the game up. And the way this works with the leader is you place three energy into your drop on eight energy, and then you go to five, use Cell's ability to then take one of those and put it back into your energy and it's untapped. So now you have six, one of them being untapped, and then you can use that to hold up Meteor. And if you don't already have one in your hand, you can then play the Cell Junior for free to go grab one from your drop. Because what Cell Junior does, and we, we didn't talk about it earlier because I wanted to save it for when we talked about Cell. This says, permanent if you have a Cell battle card with a cost 8 or more, which we would have, you can use and play this card from your hand without paying its cost. So this 2 drop just becomes 0. And then on play, add up to 1 extra from your drop to your hand, which in this case is almost always going to be Meteor. We're also playing four destructive strength. So this is a, f a curve filler. Um, on three, you almost always want to be playing this. You should probably be mulliganing until you find this card. And if you don't have this, you're going to want to go on to go look for it. This is pretty much exactly how you play green in the current meta. Um, and then to round out the deck, we just have four super combos. I'm using 16 because it's new and I like the art. So this type of deck, I think, is going to play very similarly to the current green decks that we have. You're going to really just want to ramp to find your threats and then play the threats to then just win the game. The biggest trouble I see is against yellow, especially the new three drop Vegeta. None of your cards kill it unless you're attacking into them. 
And if you don't kill that card, none of the opponent's cards can then be killed unless, again, you're attacking into them, which is really hard for this deck to do. Good matchups. It looks like blue, again, is going to be an easy matchup. And blue is getting massive buffs. So if you think blue is going to see a big uptick in play, this type of deck, I think, can do really well against that. Weakest card, I think, is probably this 5-drop Selku, which is crazy to say because this card is insane right now. But it's a bit of anti-synergy with your leader. So if you're using a drop cell and you have Selku out, this auto happens. So you take the three energy, put them in your drop, and then you have to use this Selku ability to then put the to put the top card of your deck into your energy tapped. And then you can no longer use your leader cell's ability, which means that the energy is coming in tapped instead of untapped. So in this type of deck, the Selku is really only used to ramp from 5 to 6 if you don't have your leader flipped. I could see this card just being completely cut for something else. Maybe Sensu Bean or something like that, but I'm, I'm just not sure yet. I haven't done enough testing. So that's it for the first one. Let's get into the second deck. So for the second deck, I wanted to build around Cell Games Arena. So I know I said in the set review that I don't think this is a very good card. I still don't think it's very good, but it seems like a really fun card to build a deck around. So that's what I've decided to do. The thing it does do well though, is it accrues value throughout the game if you're playing it on four, which can just beat any opposing green deck you play against because they really can't beat you if you're either drawing a card every turn or ramping every turn. What it does poorly though, is if you play this on four and you just ramp yourself, you're probably dead to like any yellow or red deck. So what I decided to do with this build is I wanted to build a cell deck that specifically beats other green decks. Because if green is a big part of the meta like it currently is, and green is going to still be the best deck, I wanted a deck that purely focuses on beating those decks. And again, I think Cell Games Arena does that really well. Moving on to the deck list, we got four Goku cantrips. Uh, we got two two drops on Gokus. So the reason this is in is because I wanted to up my Goku count because we're playing the six drop Sun Gohan. Additionally, this card seems really good against uh, the yellow decks. Like the way we beat the Vegeta three drop card is attacking into it. And this card does that really well. We have four Cell Juniors like in the last build. And then our five drop ramp of choice is Turles instead of the Selku. So we're not playing Vegeta because on four, I want to almost always just play Cell Games. And then on five, I want to play Turles because uh, one, the energy comes in untapped. And two, it doesn't have any anti-synergy with the leader like the Selku does. It also has critical, which is amazing against green. I can't stress that enough. Crit is so good against the green decks. And then we have four Sun Gohans. This is really for like the red matchup. It just pretty much kills anything they play. And then we have the Sun Gohan package here. So we have the Heal Han, which we're playing four of. This card, when it enters, you add um, the top card of your deck to your life. And then we're playing the six drop double strike Gohan. This says if you have a Sun Goku in your drop, this gains double strike. It's also a 10k combo, which is really nice. And we're playing six Gokus, which by turn six, you'll probably have one of these in your, in your yard. Which by turn six, you'll probably have one of these in your yard. Then we're playing four Android 16s. I know that seems like a lot, but this card is just so good against green. It also seems very good against blue if they don't have a Vegito out. Like blue doesn't really have a very good way of dealing with this. And the best part about this is this card, which it's a blocker. When it's KO'd, you can play up to one Sun Gohan Childhood with a cost of six from your drop. And so now we're playing two of them, uh, the Heal Han and then the Double Striker, which could be really fun to play the Double Striker off of it. Probably not as good as Heal Han, but at least we have more options. Uh, we're playing one SCR and then four Cell, like in the previous build. As for extra cards, four Meteor, we're playing four Sensu Bean. So this card seems really important in Cell just to keep you alive. Red and yellow are going to be rushing you down. And this being your turn to play just to make you a 20k leader on the front side just seems honestly good enough to get you into the later game. So we're playing four because this type of deck is really vulnerable in the early game and we want to see this every single game. We're playing one big bang attack because it, it goes really well with cell. When you have six energy, 
you get rid of one uh, you can kill something for one mana and then you can use cells uh, back ability to then just get that energy back which is kind of nice and then the namesake of this deck cell games arena it's a field card and then you tap it and you can look at the top card of your deck you can add it to your hand or to your energy and rest mode so this can just either ramp you every turn or just constantly draw cards which doesn't seem good in like the normal matches but against green if you're drawing every turn there's no way they can beat you this is a card where i wish we had sideboards because this would just be a four of in every green sideboard or any green cell sideboard and then if you're just playing against green you'd take out like cards that don't matter like these gohans and then just put four of these in and whoever sees the cell games essentially wins the post board games and then we just have four super combos as per usual all right that is deck number two let's get on to the third one so for a third and final build, we have the future build, which is built around this Sun Gohan future card. So what this does is it says permanent all your battle cards with the cost of three can't be removed from the battle area by your opponent's skills. And that goes perfectly well with this Trunks future card, which on play, if you have five or more energy, you add up to one card from your top of your deck into your energy and rest mode. So a play you'd want to make is on turn five, you add a card with cell into your energy you then play sun gohan and then at the end of your turn you play the trunks future off of gohan's ability uh, to then add another energy to ramp you so this ramps you from five to seven in one turn and then the turn after you can then play cell additionally we're also playing android 17 so this is a three drop 25k critical it doesn't seem amazing but with gohan it's really good so you can play this at the end of the turn for free if you have a Gohan out. And if Gohan is out, this card cannot be removed from the battle area by your opponent's skills because it's also a three drop. We're only playing three of this card because I'm not sure how good it's actually going to be. But critical is a great ability. Critical essentially says when this attacks, your opponent discards a card. And it's a 25k, which means it can attack into Broly and Fuse Zamasu, which is probably going to be really important in the coming meta. And then if you don't have a three drop in your hand, Gohan just kills something for your less the opponent has. Uh, going through the deck one by one, uh, pretty much all cards you've seen before, Goku, Cell Jr. I talked about 17 and Trunks Future already. Uh, and then we're playing Vegeta. Vegeta seems really not amazing if you're not playing Destructive Strength. And this deck is not playing Destructive Strength, but you can still get value off of it by early comboing with one of your um, high drops or just using your super combo. Um, to stay alive in the early game. I think doing any of those things is probably fine if you're going to play Vegeta and ramp on four. Four Sun Gohan Futures, four Sun Gohan Childhoods, five drop, and then four Heal Han. Heal Han, I think, is going to be an absolute menace. So you're healing with Gohan and Cell in this, these type of decks. I haven't talked about this yet. Um, I should have talked about this earlier, but any amount of heal is really hard for the opponent to kill you. And if you have just eight ways to do it, 12 if you're counting Sensu Bean, but doing it for five mana and not advancing the board is not the best thing you can possibly be doing. But these two battle cards doing it incidentally is awesome. And then we're playing two um, double strike Gohans. We're only playing four Gokus to turn this card on, but four Gokus is honestly probably enough. By turn six, you're most likely going to see one of these, and then you're gonna combo with it to keep your leader alive at some point. So this is almost always going to be a double striker. And if it's not, it's still a 10k combo in your hand. So this card is still just great. We got one seven drop SCR Gohan and then four cells. I've already talked about cell. This card's going to be awesome. Four gigantic meteor, four Sensu Bean. The so Sensu Bean in this deck is really important. Again, you're going to want to try to stay alive early. You don't have really any two drop to play. So on two, just like playing an energy and passing, to hold up bean is like a perfectly fine play it's probably your best play because you just you just need to stay alive once you get to sell and you're able to kill two things and heal yourself the game is usually out of reach unless you're playing against another huge green deck i don't know how difficult getting to eight is going to be just because i think yellow and red are going to be really good but this type of deck is probably the best way to get there because you have a good amount of early interaction ways to kill the opponent's battle cards by just like attacking into them profitably with your three, four, and five drop. 
Vegeta also just like, kills their two drops. Sensu Bean helps get your leader out of reach of their smaller attackers. And then you can just heal uh, if you get too low on life. And then we just have uh, these Gigantic Meteor, Sensu Bean, and Android 16 to round out the deck. All right, those are the three decks. Let me know in the comments which one you like best. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. See ya.